Hi everybody. In this video, I would like to explain about the concept of repulsion type moving iron instrument. After completion of this video, the student will be able to explain the principle, construction and working. Regarding the principle, it works on the principle of magnetic repulsion. At first, we are consider the so two soft iron pieces. This is one iron piece and this one is second iron piece. When these two adjacent iron pieces are magnetized by the same magnetic field, these will be magnetized with similar polarities. Either it may be the north pole and the north pole or it may be the south pole and the south pole and the same pole strength. Because of these polarities, north pole, north pole or south pole, south pole, let it be the two soft iron pieces are south poles. These will experience a force of repulsion. Observe here, these two soft iron pieces, it is exhibiting the magnetic field of the same polarities, south pole and south pole. When we move together, there is a repulsive force exerted between these two iron pieces. Then coming to the construction, it consists of a fixed cylindrical hollow coil inside which there are two soft iron pieces A, B. The iron A is fixed and the iron B is movable, which carries a pointer that moves over a calibrated scale. The controlling torque is provided by one spiral spring at the top of the instrument. The damping is provided by a friction damping due to the motion of the piston in the A chamber. The working of this moving iron repulsion type instrument is when the instrument is connected in the circuit measures the operating current flows through the coil it produces the magnetic field both soft iron pieces same magnetic field it magnetizes the two iron pieces in the same direction similar polarities are developed on the both iron pieces let it be the n and let it be the n same polarities because of the same polarities these two iron pieces repelled each other. Movable iron moves which causes the pointer over a calibrated scale. This moving iron is moves in a clockwise direction. This pointer is also moves in the clockwise direction which is over a calibrated scale. And this pointer is moves from its zero position over a calibrated scale thus providing the deflecting torque Td. The pointer will come to the rest at a position when deflecting torque is equal to the controlling torque, that is Td is equal to Tc. The deflecting torque is provided to the force of repulsion. Therefore, the deflecting torque expression is the force of repulsion is directly proportional to the product of the pole strengths. If the two iron pieces have the same polarity and of having the same pole strength of M1 and M2 respectively, then Instantaneous deflecting torque is proportional to repulsive force. Already you are concluded in the first point that this repulsive force is proportional to the product of the pole strengths that is M1 and M2. Where M1 and M2 are the pole strengths of the two magnetized pieces. Since pole strength developed are proportional to H. Therefore, deflecting torque Td is proportional to h square. Assuming constant permeability, h is proportional to the i value. Therefore, instantaneous deflecting torque Td is proportional to i square. Controlling torque Tc is proportional to theta. At steady state condition, Tc is, is equal to Td. Td is proportional to i square and Tc is proportional to theta. Then substituting here, this Tc is proportional to theta, Td is proportional to i square. Therefore, theta is proportional to i square. It means that this theta is proportional to i square for the DC and it is proportional to i square RMS value for the AC. We are getting the square component. That's why we are indicating here 
the scale is uneven scale we have to be chosen thank you